So Ricky Fowler finished a shot behind eventual winner Bubba Watson at the WGC HSBC Champions to round off a year in which he became only the third player in history to finish inside the top five at all four majors. For the record, the other two were Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. I caught up with the 25-year-old out on Sheshan International's ninth hole to walk, talk and watch one of golf's best players prove why he's been such success this year. Ricky, thanks for joining us again on Golfing World. Great to catch up with you after one seriously good year. 2014's been pretty good for Ricky Fowler. We've got to start with the majors. Top five in all five majors. You must be a pretty satisfied man looking back at that. Yeah, it was, it was a good year as far as the prep work went. Um, you know, starting to work with Butch last year, uh, looking towards the first start of the year, getting ready for Augusta. And, you know, really looking back, obviously I missed some cuts, but that was just part of getting ready. Uh, I felt like I was swinging well, things were starting to click. Just was, it just kind of shows you how, how much of a fine line it is out here, uh, going from, you know, missing cuts to being in contention at majors. So, definitely have to get a lot of credit to Butch just because the, the partnership has worked out very well. You know, the guy I grew up learning how to play golf from, he passed away a little over three years ago. So, I went a few years on my own and, and came to a point where I just felt like I was not really getting as much as I wanted to out of it and felt like Butch was the best guy to go to, the best in the game at what he does. So by the way, no one has got top five in all four majors in one calendar year except Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. So you must feel pretty good. It's, it's <laughs> definitely something cool to look back on. Uh, you know, I was, I was disappointed after the PGA just because I really felt like I was in a position to win. I felt very comfortable with my game. Uh, after the three previous majors being in contention, I felt very good the last day. I was playing well. You know, going up against, you know, Rory was obviously having a great summer. Phil was playing well that week, and Stenson was hanging around too. Um, you know, I just couldn't get the putts to go in on the back nine, and you know, unfortunately, had to settle for, for third there. But uh, you know, I'll be able to look back at at this year as it could be my best performance ever, um, even in my career. Looking back at finishing top five in all four majors. Um, it, as far as a cumulative putting all four together, it, it could be the best of my career, but I'm looking forward to getting a win. Let's hope it's not the best. There'll be plenty more, but I've got to let you hit your next shot yeah. first. <laughs> Where are you? Here you are. I'm just hanging in the left bunker over here. <laughs> just practice, it's fine. Well, the left bunker is a better angle, actually. What are you going to take out of here? I don't know. How far are we at, Joe? Oh, there we 181. go. 181, back into the wind. Probably six iron. It's good contacts. I don't know about the line, but it's Came Tuesday okay. for it's Tuesday for a reason. Yeah, exactly. Warming up. Yep. So you had a bit of fun though with Rory on on Sunday at the Open, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Um, you know, being in a final group with them at a major. Really couldn't ask for you know better better scenario, better situation. You know him and I, I feel like our friendship has definitely grown over the past few years. Um, you know, he definitely he is a step or two ahead of me right now as far as the game goes. He's world number one. He's got a few majors under his belt, so I have, I have a bit of catching up to do. But um, it, hopefully, it's something where him and I can play and compete against each other for you know many years to come. So moving on to the Ryder Cup, I'm not going to touch on it too heavily, but I've got to talk to you about the, the hairdo of the USA. Yeah. Did you expect that to get so much attention? No, I didn't. Uh, I, I came up with the idea a couple months before, um, just because I, I was actually locked on the team. It was something I was excited about. Um, I, I thought of the idea and thought it'd be kind of fun. It was cool. So many young kids we see in the game have the, have the Ricky look. Is that something that's just as important to you? And do you appreciate the, the role model that you've become? Uh, I appreciate the, the position and, and, it's, and it's an honor to be in the position that I am. It's not like I tried to do that or I don't try and do things to influence, you know, the kids wearing what I wear, it's, they just do it. And, uh, but I do have to be aware and know that, you know, what I do is, you know, directly reflects down to the younger generation. So. I don't know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, to see the kids come out and wear my gear and uh, see like with the haircut and the social media impact and kids getting their haircuts to Ted Bishop getting the haircut. And, <laughs> I know. Um, no, it's, it's special. Uh, like I said, it's not something you can plan out, it just happens. 
I like to have fun, be myself, um, be different. That is, you know, I don't want to just blend in and, and be like everyone else. Um, it, it's it's kind of how I've always been, though. It's good. It's a great way to be, Ricky. And just yeah. before I let you go, tell me, what's your middle name? My middle name is Utaka. Yeah, you see, I think a few people wouldn't know that about you. Just explain where that's come from. So it's my grandpa's name. Um, he goes by Taka. It's my mom's dad, and he's the one who got me started playing golf. So it's it's definitely a different middle name. Uh, it kind of fits me. I'm not exactly normal golfer out here. Grew up on you know local driving range. You know, grew up in action sports, riding, racing dirt bikes, and um, you know, someone that's probably had some of the most influence on my life. He's Japanese, right? Your grandfather. He is. So, and you're Rick Yataka Fowler. Yes. But actually, Ricky Fowler, as we know him. Okay, we'll let you finish off the hole before right. we let you go. You see, right. even on a Tuesday, we're rolling in putts. <laughs> Ricky, That's thank better. you so much. Yeah. Hey, I hope 2015 is as good as, if not better, than 2014. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good, Ricky. Thank you. Yep. See you later.